It is December 4th, 2022, and it is 3.48 p.m. I'm, I have to document this, and I have to put it on, like, so that I know that it's going to be seen, because I know that it's people that should be watching this channel. They're going to get the drift. And y'all monitor my calls anyway, so y'all heard the phone call. Like, okay. See, I really am that parent. I, I'm not trying to be all up in my child's business and stuff like that because he's 24 years old. My son, Marquise Williams, right? And um, he messes with this girl. Her name is Ijavia Hogue. I have only known the young lady for a couple of months. And I was introduced, I want to say, through the fact that my son was going to the hospital because he was having a seizure all of a sudden in his whole 24 years of life, he starts having seizures. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, yeah, I've been MIA on his life, getting high and shit like that. But when I started getting clean and shit, like I had constant contact with the person that was taking care of him. And I would have known about seizure or whatever the hell during that time of me being out of his presence. <clears throat> Um, I was called the beginning of last month to help my son. Uh, he was having a situation going on in his house. So I pulled the, my daughters out of school and rushed over there to go help him with the situation he had going on. But this was at his apartment and the young lady, she was going like bad shit fucking crazy and shit like that. Like while I was on the phone, while he was trying to explain to me what he needed me, like leading my help with, she in the background, like just tweaking like, tweaking all the way out, like, outside of his apartment. Now, mind you, I want to say it was, like, a little bit after 8 in the morning or something like that when the call came in. It was the beginning part of November. And I'm like, it's too early in the morning. Like, you got neighbors, you at your house. Like, she over there at your place. Like, I don't be in his business, so I ain't know what type of situation they had going on. I just know he called to ask me to do him a favor, and I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm getting the things that I need to get together to go over to his place to handle what he needs to handle. And I get over there. She's tweaking out, this, that, and the third, like having a whole mental breakdown. That was my first experience with her not being able to be in control of her own emotions. <clears throat> a few minutes ago, my son calls me and he has me on the phone with uh, Ijavia's sister, Imani, Yamani, I believe her name is. And we are like outsiders listening in on what's going on in the background. And my son is telling me that he's over at her place and he closed her out of her place so that he could pack up his stuff and leave because she was telling him she want him to get the fuck out. She don't want to be with him anymore. This, that, and the third. So he's doing what she asking him to do, separating their stuff and putting his stuff to the side or whatever. So he calls me to see if I had any type of lift or something like that, but I don't have that on my phone or whatever. So I'm asking him like, well, how much would a cab be? Just call a cab from over there to my place or whatever, just to get, you know, to get away from the situation so that like whatever, because she's tweaking the hell out in the background and me and... Her sister, Yamani, are listening. We're on the phone. My son called so that he can freaking have witness to what's going on over there. <clears throat> From the time, the first time, which was in November, till this present moment, like, I'm saying to my son, like, you know, like, trying to tell him, like, y'all are moving things way too fast. He told me that they started dating in uh, May, I believe. And like it's to the point where like they're they re the way that they going at it they act like they've been like together for years like a, a a grumpy ass old married couple and like they not even married and like like I said I met the young lady the morning when she called me it was like a little bit after three o'clock in the morning and she told me that my son was having a seizure in his sleep and. I questioned my son, and a lot of things sounded like not copacetic. So I winded up calling to the hospital and calling into the police station or whatever and giving them, you know, some information because I was trying to find out, like, where was the call dispatched and the, the police 
station where I called that's in the area where she live at, they said that they didn't even get a call from that area. So I was trying to figure out like who the fuck came and picked up my son and who was I talking to on the phone because I was on the phone with Ijavia first, then I got on the phone with a paramedic. <clears throat> and then he said that he wasn't sure of what hospital he was going to be taking my son to and all of these other things. Like, like my cause is being monitored, recorded, so the government, y'all already know what, what it's hitting for. Y'all heard the whole thing and what went down on that particular day when my son was taken to the hospital that I had went. I had to travel far as fuck to get to the hospital, but I showed up. Like, everybody that, like talked and said all of this stuff oh she don't care about her kids she crazy she not competent and all of this other stuff like y'all got y'all gotta miss me with all of that man i'm very much aware of everything that's going on i even know what the fuck is going on and y'all not even around me y'all need to stop playing just like i knew that something wasn't right on halloween when that him and ijv and them was supposed to have went out trick-or-treating with some friends of hers or some old crazy ass shit like i had told y'all <clears throat> I said it then and I say it now. Stop burning them damn candles. Stop playing with tarot cards. If you don't know what the hell you doing and you not even in the energy to be fucking with them, to be trying to read anything, stop playing with them Ouija boards because y'all opening up them damn portals that y'all don't need to. And now this shit is coming back on y'all and you sitting here having a whole nervous breakdown and you trying to bring my son down with you, with that crazy ass shit, and I kept telling him, and the more you surround yourself with some crazy ass energies that is not all the way, you know what I mean, trying to be copacetic and change their life around, it's going to pull you down too, and a lot of things have been unfolding, and I'm trying to like, I be, like, I be trying to tell people, I try to warn them or whatever, and it's not even like trying to be showboating or bragging or none of that stuff, but energy don't lie. A, a mouth a lie to you, but the energy, like, you could feel that shit. And because I took the time out to be with myself and to be able to tap into my higher self, like, man, that shit just fell all the way around the border. Like, I got the fucking BGs right now. My stomach tight as shit, like, and it's not even my shit, like, you know what I mean? But prior to the phone call even coming in, I was feeling my stomach, like, churning, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, everything is cool, copacetic on my end, where I'm at in my place with me and my girls. But I knew that something was thrown off. There's nothing going on outside. I seen an old neighbor of mine that got evicted not too long ago that sleep in the tent across the street and shit. He come over here by the building and he's stealing packages from in front of the damn office. Like, <sighs> I don't be wanting to be in nobody's business, but if I'm coming back from the store and I see the shit, I can't help it. If I feel some shit ain't right and then, you know what I mean, some shit pop off around me, it ain't nothing that I personally put myself into. It's the shit that, you know what I mean? Like, man, look. <laughs> I'm on the phone. Yamani on the phone. Chick in the background. I, 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 is in the background talking about she gonna kill herself and you don't love me and all of this other crazy ass shit. Then she telling him, like giving him ultimatum. If he don't hang up the phone, then he got to get the fuck out. Like you already told him to get out from the jump. Like that's why the whole call came in. Like I'm not understanding the whole logic and reasoning. But why? What the hell? She says she don't want to be with him anymore. Okay. Let it be that. Like, yeah, that shit going to hurt. Yeah, you going to cry. Yeah, you going to be in your feelings or whatever. It's not like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's... I already know what the whole situation is, and I already know how everybody was coming on the whole, you know, the setup behind the scene. Like, I already put my son deep to this shit, but he still wanted to, like, you know, be like I was. Like, we got the hearts that we have. We can't help that shit. But like I said, at the same time, I'm here to, you know, to get a message. If you don't want to listen to the message... I don't know what to tell you. Just like I was called, I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, they had some friends over to RJB a house or whatever, and then the next thing you know, she coming to my son, whispering to him, like, I don't even know why she over here. I don't know who the heck was over there at her place or whatever, but it's a lot of chaos and unnecessary confusion going on. So the people that's watching this and y'all be monitoring stuff what's going on, 
if my son gets locked up over there, just know my son did not put his hands on that young lady. He don't beat on like women and shit like that. Like I'm tired of y'all trying to paint me and my children not to be something that we not. I'm tired. Like it, it, it's just, it's past ridiculous at this point. You know what I mean? Tired of the gang stalking, tired of having to address unnecessary situations that don't even need to be had. I can't like fight the battle for my son when it comes to whatever the heck he experiencing right now because I gave him, I dropped the seed. I, I planted the seed. I told him what it was because she's not emotionally mature enough to handle a relationship and neither is he at this point because he's just starting his healing process with his emotional traumas and his experiences in his life that he's still trying to deal with in process. Like we on some healing shit right now and like, I was given a second chance to be able to come back here and do just that with my lineage as well as helping other people that I come in contact with. So what I'm going to say and I'm going to keep saying to anybody out there, stop trying to come for people that ain't trying to be doing all of that extra most stuff. If you're not willing to admit that there is a problem present and to start to reach out and get help and stop turning down help that is presented before you because like I don't have to be dealing with that I told the young lady like yo I will help to guide and you know what I mean give you the nurturing you didn't get from your family because she told me out her own mouth that her mother told her that she wish she was dead and all of this other stuff she need to hurry up and die and all of this other stuff, and I found this out the, the, the time when I showed up over there when she was going bat shit crazy or whatever. I had to try to bring some type of peace and resolution to the situation, but <clears throat> you can only talk but so much. You can only, you know what I mean? I planted the seed. Now, it takes that person to want to do the work, just like I had to do the work. Everybody got to do the work, but everybody want to sit back and point the finger and be playing a blame game. I used to be one of them too. I took accountability. I take accountability for my wrongs. And if I still need to make things right, I'm going to continue to do that. But in the meantime, in between time, what I'm not finna do, I'm not finna be sitting here playing with nobody with their um, 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 unstable asses. And then it's causing chaos and confusion with what I'm trying to heal and what I got going on. If I'm not letting my mom and my family and shit like that come between what it is that I've been working on, then that's what it's going to be. I'm not about to let them people do this shit to me, and I'm damn sure not about to let no stranger and nobody that they pulling into situations come between what it is that I've worked hard for to be able to come back and heal within myself, within my children, within, you know what I mean, everybody that I'm supposed to come in contact with and plant the seed with. And y'all not about to kill me through no damn stress. I wish y'all would stop playing with voodoo dolls. I wish y'all would stop casting spells. If you don't know nothing about no tarot cards, please don't pick them shits up. Please stop filing false police reports. Please stop using people's names and shit like that on immigration documentations and shit like that. Because, yes, I put it all on Front Street. Y'all shouldn't be doing the shit that y'all fucking doing and then want to have the audacity to be mad at somebody because they're talking about the shit that you doing to people. I done owned up and I'm going to continue to own up to any fucking thing that I've ever done because I ain't scared of none of y'all. Y'all don't pump no fear in nobody's heart. Ain't no fear running through these veins. Ain't nobody about to be sitting there. Y'all better stop doing them shut up spells and all of that stuff. Y'all sitting there doing all these crazy ass rituals and shit like that. But then everybody want to sit there and talk about something. I'm crazy. No. Ain't nobody crazy. Then y'all diagnose my son with fucking paranoid schizo or, or schizophrenia or some shit like that. Ain't nobody schizophrenic. When he came and he told y'all that them motherfuckers was after him, y'all thought that he was fucking lying. And y'all opened up that fucking Pandora's box by whatever the fuck Craig and all of them got behind the scenes and started talking about and shit. And then fucking Tiana and all of them from the fucking Urban League, they fucking went and had a whole hand in it too and had them motherfuckers LC and them other people that was a part of that fucking program fucking doing shit. They was paying them and not charging rent and all of that shit. Like y'all think that don't nobody know about what the fuck been going on? And all of them fucking drugs and shit that nigga was in there pu pushing out of that fucking apartment. I'm talking about LC.
Then abroad that moved to Hawaii. I forget what her name is, but she lived on the end part when you come in the parking lot off of fucking equipment. Stop playing. Adam, you knew what was going on because I was on the phone with you when that young man from number nine from your apartment complex was over there harassing my son and his freaking at the time best friend Richard and his child's mother and me and my children at my son's apartment. We on we was on camera in the parking lot, but y'all don't remember that. But we remember you, okay? I was on the phone with you while this whole situation was going down. I left it on your voicemail. What was going on? So whatever you got yourself wrapped into with these tenants that you got on your property to come against my son, that the the, uh, the people that have freaking placed my son through the urban you or urban league or urban youth league or whatever the heck that helped my son get where he was at where, in his apartment where he was at. Okay. So you well aware of what has been going on. You're well aware of. Just like I'm well aware of what's going on. And then y'all want to start looking into me because ain't nobody know who the hell I was until I put my feet on Colorado soil and then I started going around and, you know what I mean, and being introduced to certain people and shit. They not my cup of tea, so I fall the fuck back. I don't appreciate y'all sending them people to where I was resting my head to be gang stalking and harassing and I damn sure don't appreciate them being all on my social media and all in my business just like they was all on my son's social media and all up in his business. And y'all been sending all of these crazy ass people our way. The police done sat there and watched my son fucking get snuck and jumped on and shit like that. Coming out of nowhere after the fact talking about, yeah, we saw the whole thing. DPD, y'all better stop fucking playing. Then you got these fucking DAs and the judges and the lawyers and all of y'all out here playing these goddamn games. The fucking police fucking threatening my son. Yeah, I can't wait to lock your ass up and, 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 and doing all of that intimidation factor prior to him getting locked up for the shit. When the man put his hands on my child first, but y'all only conveniently got the freaking sky cam from one fucking angle. When it's many a sky, it's many a sky cams all over the place. My son done submitted that shit to y'all. I'll go downtown again just to take more pictures, just to have this solidify actual proof. I actually got the fucking everything, everything, everything. Y'all want to keep on playing with this shit. Dragging fucking court cases out and shit like that. Then you got these fucking police down there paying the fucking drug dealers and shit like that to cause unnecessary chaos and confusion. CJ, I know that you motherfucking had hand in having the motherfucking people putting them fucking drugs and whatever pills and shit like that in my son drink when he came to my fucking apartment all out of his fucking mind. I know all of y'all been working together. <clears throat> like I said, Craig, Juan Sr., fucking Angel, Liz, Libby, Fanny, fucking Jane, all of y'all. Carla. Jermaine, Frederick, I'm tired of y'all, just like I'm tired of all of the Buntings that fucking been on some fuck shit, and I'm tired of every fucking Morris that ever tried to discount me and make it seem like whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck y'all got going on, whatever personal beef y'all got going on with me, they ain't got nothing to do with me, I ain't never had no beef with none of y'all motherfuckers. And to be technical, y'all ain't never want no fucking beef with me. That's why y'all all got to fucking gang up and pile up and do this bitch ass shit that y'all been doing for years behind the motherfucking back. Because y'all ain't got the fucking balls to do the shit nobody fucking face. And then y'all want to sit around and fucking have life insurance policies on motherfuckers? Ain't nobody give y'all permission to do no dumb ass shit like that? Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Y'all got the game all the way fucked up. Y'all entitled fucking... Self-righteous, greedy, envious, jealous, hateful-hearted, mean-spirited ass fucking people. That's how much a motherfucker worth to you, a life insurance policy? Y'all motherfucking spirits ain't never gonna fucking be happy. In this lifetime or no other fucking lifetime, y'all gonna be haunted for the rest of eternity. Doing this bullshit... 
and the motherfucker trying to get right to help other people elevate and uplift. Ain't this? I was schooled by the same fucking uncles that first and foremost showed me the book of life. They showed me the lessons. Took on attributes. Y'all some self-proclaimed fucking hypocrites, motherfuckers. All of y'all motherfuckers in our lives paradise. Okay? Dark city. But y'all want motherfuckers be like a crab in the fucking barrel. Y'all ain't want nobody to fucking get up out of that shit. They, they, they want more and want better. And then you want to silence a motherfucker because they know too much. All of y'all can kiss my ass. And every friend, foe, person I don't even fucking know. All of y'all motherfuckers that had a hand in any of this shit. The judges, the fucking superior court, the motherfucking U.S. motherfucking district attorney's office. All of y'all motherfuckers is dead the fuck ass wrong because y'all signed off on this shit. And y'all been signing off on other people's shit too. But y'all want to silence me because a motherfucker want to be in peace and fucking be happy and finally fucking content my life. And y'all motherfuckers know why I went through what the fuck I went through. Y'all know why shit been put down on paperwork that, and then y'all signed off on that bullshit too. Then y'all had motherfuckers falsifying documents and shredding evidence and burning evidence and burning up. The nerve and fucking audacity of all of y'all. Every last one of them. And Nigeria, you're connected to all of the fucking people that have it out for my fucking son. You're friends with my son's ex-girlfriend and her sister and their people. And I already know the drop on what happened with them too. And I know that they all interconnected. Richard, Quan, all of them. Jabari, Jacory, that was Craig and them next door neighbor. Craig them put everybody up to some shit. Even his fucking family. When I did the background search on myself, I found his name and a whole bunch of his fucking family members and friends on my shit too. Just like I found my uncle Bourne's motherfucking uh email address and some more other shit. I ain't never lived in California <laughs> under my fucking name that I background searched myself. I live in fucking California. I lived in Phillipsburg, fucking New Jersey. I lived at 1508 Main Street in Asbury Park. That's Don Roche's motherfucking address. And when I did the research on who the fuck uh, uh, other places is, somebody, some two dudes named Robert name on the paper. Like, come on, man. And y'all try to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. My mom got a fucking Q-Leak motherfucking phone. Now, I don't know whether she registered it in my name or her fucking name. Because that's how serious the shit get. Motherfucker done got credit cards and all type of bullshit in my fucking name. Cars and all type of shit. Y'all don't fucking forge my signature. Y'all don't forge my son's fucking signature. Y'all don't coach them. Y'all try to get him to fucking come up against me. Planting shit in my house. Yo, I, I am aware of all of this shit that y'all been fucking doing. Y'all fucking stupid asses. Y'all say I got a potty mouth. I'm telling them fucking truth. And I'm normally calm, cool, and collected. But then as soon as a motherfucker start telling y'all and putting y'all in y'all fucking place and cross and, and, and setting boundaries for y'all ass, now y'all got a fucking attitude. Now you want to be in your feelings. Now you want to be on your mama's titty and shit. This shit real out here in the motherfucking field. Motherfuckers is out here doing this shit for fucking real. And I ain't talking about killing nobody and stealing and robbing and raping and doing none of this shit. Fucking playing with little kids, breaking little boys in the getting fucking gangs. Yeah, motherfuckers. Being a part of all these sick ass fucking secret societies, but you want a motherfucker to bow down and respect you? Who the fuck do you think you are? Y'all thinking this shit is fucking cool. And the only way you feel like you a fucking man is if you take another person's life. You's a bitch motherfucking coward hating fool. 
there is no place for you in this fucking paradigm. Enough is enough. Mommy, you know kids are watching this. Don't hurt. Kids don't watch my show because I put it not for kids. When I go to upload this, it's not for kids. This is this is not play play stuff that I'm talking about here. It's innocent babies that y'all is affecting out here. These people y'all out here doing this shit too, they are somebody's child too. Who are you to determine whether or not that person breathe or not? It's even more crazy when the ones that birthed you want you going too with the people. This ain't no game. The people you grow up with, the, the people that supposed to be your protectors, your God is in there. These motherfuckers, y'all got a hand in it too. What the? Man, come on, man. The buck stops. Until breath leave my body, even when I do leave this physical body, I'm still coming back to say what the hell I got to say from beyond the physical. Y'all got the game all the way twisted, man. We all still learning and growing. We all still trying to find ourselves. We all are still trying to freaking gain back our own identities. Y'all motherfucker want to steal somebody's identity just so y'all could get paid off something. Man, do you, do y'all dumbass don't, you can't take that shit with you when you leave. And money is not all, you got, look at, look at, look at all of these rich ass billionaires and shit like that. They can't enjoy that shit because look what the fuck they had to do to get the shit. Sacrificing babies, drinking bloods, and all of this crazy ass shit that these, this shit go way deeper, but we're back, 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 back in the day when I was talking about this shit, everybody called me weird. Everybody called me crazy. You go on any YouTube, they got anything to do with the celebrities and the industries and they, the old motherfucking artists and all that. They getting tired of motherfucking having to fucking been for a friend too. Just to fucking be relevant. And while they getting robbed and raped on other levels as well. Motherfuckers is getting tired of that shit. Ain't nobody trying to be doing all of that no more. And no, Kanye is not motherfucking crazy. Y'all got the game fucked up. All the way fucked up. Y'all need to stop. My son is not answering the phone. While I'm on the phone with Yamani, Yamani done call, I guess, their grandmother to go over there and get it. I'm speaking to the young lady. The young lady telling me that this, this, she, she had to deal with this in their household and this and that and this and that. So she further affirms like the toxicity in the household, growing up in the household. So it's nothing that I'm saying from not even being personally involved in the situation as an outsider looking in. I already said that there are things that was in that family that need to be healed. How the fuck I know that? Because it was shit that was in my family bloodline that needed to be healed, which I'm fucking currently in the process of motherfucking healing and doing what the fuck I got to do so that I ain't going to keep on carrying on this shit and ain't nobody going to keep on wanting to keep on doing and keep on going in the same repetitive, stupid ass motherfucking cycle. Ain't nobody about to keep on wanting to do this shit. Buck stops here. On all levels with anybody. I don't give a fuck who it is. Like I said, I am grateful and thankful that Cheryl and Bryant brought me here if Bryant is my real deity. Because a lot of weird shit that's going on with that whole thing, you know what I mean? And then all the damn documentation that been switched the fuck up. I don't even have a daggone record file number on my birth certificate. 
That make me, I got questions. Who switched me the fuck at birth? Are you my real parents? Why don't I have a file number on my birth certificate? Why doesn't my mother have a file number on her birth certificate? What the fuck's going on? My Sunny got one. Sanai got one. Marquise got one. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Things to make it go. Mm -hmm. But they mad because I fucking want to sit there and I want to know more. I, I, need, I got questions. I got questions. I'm always going to have questions. You're not going to keep pissing on me and telling me that it's raining. Like, come on, man. Enough's a fuck enough. It's 2022. It's about to be... In X amount of days, it's going to be 2023. Like, we at the end of this motherfucking... You know what I mean? <laughs> y'all motherfuckers had all motherfucking year to get y'all shit together. Matter of fact, y'all had all the last fucking 10 years to fucking get this shit back in order and, and start doing some shit. For me personally, in my own situation, y'all had my whole motherfucking life. And my sons too. It took me till I got to this age to, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it's time. And justice is going to get served in this bitch. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. 